Hi friends, it's Pam with Silver and Sparkles and I have another one page wonder. I'm on a roll with these. I hope you guys are still enjoying them. So we are going to make three of these out of one piece of 12 by 12 paper, but I did each one just a tiny bit different. Um, I am using the papers from the Pink Monarch Prints October collection, and you can get those the cute um, in their Etsy shop or on their website. So I'll link link that for you um, to the Etsy shop, and then you can describe decide if you're interested in the subscription or to just buy the kits individually. So this one has two pockets, one, two that I showed you. Oh, they each have two, the same two pockets here. And then the difference is this side load. So this one, I did one large side load where, I mean, you could stop and have it hang out, but I did a tag that was a little bit longer so you could see that. I think that's cute. So one, two, and then a third pocket here. If you mount this on a page, you can obviously get a fourth pocket top or side load, depending on how you glue it down. And then this one has the two pockets, whoa, things are falling around in there. And I put a bunch of the different tags and ephemera and things from the kit and I made a few things as well. Um, and then this one, instead of a side pocket, I left it where you can flip it open for journaling space. So almost kind of like a hidden journaling spot and it flips open. Again, you could get a third pocket depending on how you install it on your page. And then the last option, same two pockets. <laughs> um, I had fun playing with all the different bits in the kit. And then instead of leaving it as a great big um, pass-through kind of side load, I did two little tuck spots. Okay. Now this is inspired by um, Melina Pliant. I think that's how you say her name. Um, and I'll link her channel for you in the description as well. She did a scrap buster making one like this and she um, just made the one and the two little tuck pockets and suggested if you wanted to, you could do one with a journaling spot. But I decided to turn it into a one page wonder because it uses a 12 inch strip of paper. So I thought, okay, we'll make three and then I'll give you also the three options. So there you go. I hope you like it and let's get started. All right, I chose to use um, 12 by 12 paper that's one-sided. I don't mind the white um, on the one place that, that I ended up leaving it, which is my journaling space. You could cover that with some coffee dyed paper if you wanted to. What that does mean though, is there is a two, two inch by four inch panel on each of these that I chose to cover and and pattern paper from the kit I'm using, um, but that's up to you. You'll see when we start folding these together, I think what I mean. So the cut on your 12 by 12 paper is really easy. You're just going to cut it into um, three, four inch by 12 inch strips. So cut it at, at eight inches and then cut it at four inches. So you'll have three that measure four by eight, okay? And then I'm going to do the scoring, and I'll have all of this in the description for you guys of the video. So um, if you want to look at that and craft along with me, you can. So for each of the 12 by 4 inch strips, you're going to score on the 12 inch side. And you can do this with a scoreboard, you can do it with a ruler, and um, you know, a, some type of bone fold or something like that. So on your score, on your scoring, you are gonna score all three of them the same way. We're gonna score at four inches, seven inches, and 10 inches. So three scores on each one. And I'm gonna do it three times. Four inches, seven inches, and 10 inches. And then the last one, okay? So it's pretty easy. We're doing them all the same way. And the only difference then is how we glue them together. Um, if you want to leave it the journaling spot or you want to have a pocket, a side load pocket option. Okay, so we do want to, when we're making our folds, remember to 
just kind of pay attention and line it up nice and neat before you crease it down because um, even though you've scored, um, sometimes it can be crooked. So first, just fold everything on the score lines. And then if you're using two-sided paper, that would work too. You're gonna get to decide you know, which, which pattern you want up first. So once I have each piece folded nice and neat, <laughs> um, I know I'm going to have the white panel as the small pocket that I'm gonna cover. So I'm folding up that smallest section, I'm folding it up. I'm folding the next section back and then back up again with the back section, okay? We'll do that two more times to show you guys. So you end up with a piece that looks like this. All right, super easy. So whichever way you wanna start, like I said, I like to just fold mine first and then um, think about it, which, which way it needs to go. And if you're using single-sided paper, to me, whoo, where is that? The easiest way to remember is that the small pocket is white <laughs> and so the larger pockets will have the pattern. But again, if you fold it this way, you would have the two large ones white and then this one would be covered and, that, and you could do it that way. All right, and of course, again, if you're using two-sided paper, but I wanna do all of mine just like that. Okay, so again, paying attention, even though I scored it to make sure I fold everything nice and neat. And this would be a good mass make because these really do come together very quickly. So if you um, wanna make up a bunch of pockets for some journals um, or for a happy mail or something like that, you could do that. Now on the original video, um, Melina rounded her corners and I didn't do that, but she rounded them. So if you wanna round um, you know, each layer, you could do that. I'm gonna leave mine um, square. Okay, so the first thing that I like to do is cover this panel and I've already cut out some papers I'm going to use on my original ones in the kit there are some like collage strips um, a, a paper and I used those and you just need a two by four inch strip for the ones we're gonna I'm gonna make on camera I, I didn't ink everything, but I did cut out um, some of the ephemera pieces. So this was like a postcard, and I thought, well, that'll look really cute on the front of that bottom pocket. So there we go. So that one I'll glue down. And then I just picked two other of the just journaling card kind of ephemera pieces to be on the front of my pockets and I made the decision based on patterns and things that I liked and on what I had already printed out so <laughs> if you're wondering that's what I did so I am going to use my wet white glue and this is my PVA line co glue I also enjoy using art glitter glue but this one is a little more economical for me for most of my projects and you do want to make sure you don't accidentally glue that pocket closed. I did not cut mine um, exactly right, and I could leave it with that little extra, but I'm going to trim it off. There we go. And that will be my pocket, the front of my pocket. Um, and I may have done this on all of them. And I think what it is, and I remember now, this piece of 12 by 12 paper was... Um, a little raggedy on one edge so it wasn't quite 12 inches long and that that's what's happening here but it's okay this one I'm not gonna trim off I'm just gonna I don't want the words to be upside down I'm gonna glue it down making sure it's aligned at the bottom and now that pocket will just be a touch taller and that's okay <laughs> 
And I'm gonna do all of this, and then we're gonna ink around the pockets before we glue them together. I, if, if you wanna ink, it's much easier to get ink on each of these layers if you do it, of course, before you glue it together. If you don't wanna ink, you can skip that step. All right. And I printed this on a 90 pound cardstock, so it's gonna be fine. Um, it, you know, just being that one layer, it, it's plenty thick. Okay, so again, I'm just gonna do a small bit of inking because I like that look. I'm using Walnut Stain. It's my favorite brown. <laughs> Do you guys have a favorite brown or a favorite distress ink color? I I have others, but this is the one I just always seem to go back to. All right, the sides, obviously, if later you decide you want more ink, um, they're, they're easy to do. It's the, the actual pockets that are a little challenging. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to glue each um, each design that I've I've made. Um, and by the way, this is one of the pieces of paper that came in that um, craft haul that I bought. Um, one of the pieces of 12 by 12 paper. I told you we were going to be making some fun one-page wonders with them. This one is too. It was one of the map patterns um, that I thought was really cute. So, okay. To glue these. Now, the first, the big pocket is the same on each one. So, uh, fold it down and you're going to add glue. Whoa, just to these two sides and try to be neat. Again, having the, the tiny tip applicator helps because you don't want your glue to be too thick or you lose space in your pocket. So you want to make sure you just give that time to dry. This little pocket, it is also the same for all three. We're gonna add glue to these two sides, okay? So we're gonna make this one the one with the journaling because then we're done, okay? So we have um, a pocket here, a pocket here, and it flips up and we can journal. Now the only thing to keep in mind, when you are loading this pocket, you need things that are below the top of this pocket because you're gonna be flipping it open. If you add things like this, it's okay in the back pocket. We still flip open, no problem. But if you start adding tall things to this pocket, it doesn't open or it'll fold and get creased. So that's the only thing you have to keep in mind with the one that you designed this way. See, I've got all different sizes in the back pocket. In fact, it's eating some of my shorter things, okay? But then this pocket, I had to turn my card sideways to put it in there so that we can open our journaling spot. All right, that's all you have to remember for that one. All right, and now it's just stuffing it and if we wanna decorate the front anymore. So I'm gonna set it aside. All right, so for the next one, my glue keeps spitting. We are going to add glue to the two sides to make the back deep pocket. All right, and this is when I could be closing up my ink so it doesn't keep drying out so much. Okay, so now the back pocket is done. Now we're gonna do the front pocket and again, right along those two sides. And before you start messing with them, you wanna let your glue dry. <laughs> okay, and now we're gonna make the big pass-through pocket. It's gonna be this one, okay? We're gonna leave this open on both sides, but we are gonna glue the bottom. So all you wanna do is just put a thin bead of glue along the bottom and glue it closed. Okay, and now we have a pass through. Okay, and it goes all the way through. Ta -da -da -da. 
I should have waited, but there you go. All right, so that's that one, super easy. And then the last one, again, we are gonna glue the large back pocket by adding glue on either side. I hope you see too how quickly these can come together. Um, that's why I think it would be a good mass make. Front pocket, glue on either side. All right, and now to make the two tuck kind of pockets, that's gonna be, oh, where is it? This one, okay, with the little tuck pockets on the sides. What you do here is you wanna try to put your glue in the middle and, um, <clears throat> you know, it's not the end of the world, I guess, if it's not exact, they're not exactly the same sizes, but I'm just going to mark two inches in a couple of places. You're not going to see any of this, so use a pen, a pencil, whatever you have. And now I'm going to run a bead of glue connecting those marks, just like that, and then a bead of glue along the bottom. All right. And that's it, and we're gonna close it up. And again, you wanna let the glue dry. And be really careful. And now, you'll have the two little tuck pockets. Super cute, right? All right, and one of the things I love about the Pink Monarch kits, whether it's the great big one, like, you know, they put out each month, or even just their other kits that come with multiple pages, there's always so many fun pieces to decorate with. And depending on what you choose, it can look completely different. I have cut some of the pieces out. So there's tags, there's fussy cuts, there's some butterflies, there's circles, all kinds of things. So um, I just have fun with it. It's one of my favorites. I think you guys know that. All right, which one is this? All right, this is the little tuck one. Let's do it first because um, the, the, you can make what you want to put in here whatever size will fit, but a good, a good easy size is two and a half inches tall by two inches wide. So I went ahead and just cut two little rectangles and you can decorate them again as much as you want. I put tabs on my original ones. Um, the kit actually came with some whale tabs that you can just cut out or punch out if you have a whale tab punch. But it's nice because if you don't have the punch, you can just cut it out and have a few of those, which is really fun. Um, you don't have to put a tab on it. Um, there's another style of tab if I can find oh here this style I haven't cut them out there's this style um that I think are really sweet so let's do one of ours with these I'm going to use two of them because I want the tab um design to show on the front and the back so I'll do this style for one of them and then um we'll do a whale tab that I've already cut out for the other. Okay, so I'm gonna put this on back to back. I'm not cutting the little um, angles yet. I'm gonna do that after I glue it on simply because I um, think that it'll match up a little bit better. We'll try it. I've not done it this way before, but we're gonna try it and see if, if it works. If not, go ahead and cut them. <laughs> Okay, I am going to, again, just put a little bit of glue along one edge and glue it down. And then I am going to put glue on the entire rectangle on this side and match it up just like that. And see what I was thinking is got something stuck on my scissors. When I go to trim this, yeah, it'll match. So anyway, just a thought. Cute. I'll add a touch more ink. 
right on those little wiggle parts and then I am going to stick it in and you can do either side I think it looks better this this way all right isn't that cute now for this one let's add this whale tab so this one you just fold in half I've already punched it out I'm gonna ink it I'm gonna glue it down and because this one is just kind of a neutral paper we might add a little number or something to it we'll see And I definitely think we're going to decorate the front of this pocket. The other ones I may put a little something on, but they, they already have a little bit more going on. Whoa. Let's make sure that fits in there the way I want it to. Yes, very cute. And maybe we'll just take one of these circles. Again, we've got little numbers. Ooh, look at these little numbers. Maybe we'll put one of these on here. Like I said, I cut quite a bit out, but not everything. And I'm actually, um, I've been thinking about this kit for a couple of days. Uh, that's a little, it's okay, we'll put it down. It's covering up the flower and stuff a little more than I wanted it to, but um, it's, it's okay. <laughs> um, Elena and Anna, um, send those of us that are guest designers for their channel the kit just a couple of days in advance so we can start thinking about videos and things that we want to make with it um, and I'll be making some using this kit for their channel as well this one I'm putting on my channel but anyway I've had it for a few days but today is October 1 when I'm filming this and it'll go live hopefully in a couple of days or tomorrow I don't know I haven't decided but um I've really been looking forward to working with it, um, but it, it's just coming up with all the different ideas and things, and I love all the little pieces, and sometimes when I'm trying to decide what all I wanna make with a particular kit, I will literally print everything out and cut everything out and really kinda of sit with it and look at it, um, but I just, I haven't had that much time. I don't even know what all I've been doing, but, um, anyway, so I've only printed some of the pages and I've only cut out a few of the items, but I am going to have fun this month because these are my colors. It's my jam. I love it. Okay. So we have decorated the front of that pocket. Um, I did. Oh, I was going to show you how I made one of these specimen tags too. Um, and I did cut out some of the ephemera, the little cards. And again, we could decorate these more. They're, they're really cute kind of the way they are. Um, and I have some other pieces here. Let me do one that is, oh, look at this one with the mushroom. Very cute. Um, again, there, there's so many pieces to this kit that we won't run out of things to play with. All right, I'm going to leave this one like that for now. And then I made one of the specimen cards. This is what I was looking for. I wanted, maybe I'll put this one here and this one here. Okay, I made a specimen card there's, I think, a sheet that has four of these, and some are decorated a little more than others, um, but then they're also, they kind of have the um, faux window. You could cut that out, I guess, if you wanted to, and then back it on another piece of paper, but I just, um, because I wanted these to be thicker, I printed out the page. I just kind of cut this out at a rectangle. I didn't do all the um, fancy cuts, glued it, to just a piece of scrapbook paper cardstock that I had and just to make it nice and thick. And then I cut it out and we're gonna ink it. And again, not hard, you know, you just have to, to take a couple of minutes to do this. And then these little um, corners would be super cute, like with eyelets. I decided to do brads on mine. Um, 
So let's just do that. So I just take my paper piercer and um, I'm, uh, I'm adding some brad. So I think when you add a little bit of hardware to a project, it just kind of takes it up a notch, you know? Like I said, it would be cute to do eyelets and then you could do like a little dangle from it or something. That would be a cute idea. I'm probably gonna play with these some more because I like making specimen tags. I think you guys know that. Let me get some eyelets, or not eyelets, we're doing brads. Um, and it doesn't really matter what color, but I am gonna use all the same color once I choose a color. Cute, I don't know, just so fun. And then we're gonna pick maybe um, like a little number tag, tab or something, tag, I don't know little piece and maybe another butterfly to put in here or on here. Um, and like I said, this is one of the reasons I get so excited for the new kits each month because there's just so many different elements to play with. All right. And I also um, love seeing what everybody else makes because I'm like, oh, I didn't even think about that. <laughs> so, okay. Four little brads. Okay. Now, let's pick something fun. Oh, we also have words. I like having words. Um... Here, we'll pick one of these labels because I think I like the contrast with the dark. So we'll just cut out a special delivery. And I do think I am going to use my uh, ephemera folder that I made. I've made a couple of these now, um, but I still have a few pages, I think, maybe not be in this one, oh, that are empty, and I'm gonna put pieces from this kit on these two pages so that it's easy for me to organize it. I just thought I'd put a plug in for that because, again, very excited that, that we made that. All right, you can do it right in the center. My other one I kind of did off-center because there was already a flower, and I did this, the, the word at the top on that one. I think this one I'm going to put right in the center. And then we'll decide what else to put on here. So again, as far as whatever you want to put in the pockets, the sky's the limit. You could put other, you could make tags and put in there. You could use other pieces of ephemera. Again, you can make little things like this to put in there. You know, whatever really speaks to you. All right, and I'm gonna just put this one off to the side. Sweet. See how easy and what an impact, right? So we can put it in the front pocket or we can put it in the back pocket. I'm gonna put it in the back pocket for now. All right, and this is our tag that has a, a pass through. My pockets do get a little snug. And actually this will go in easier if I don't have that taking up some of the give. Part of it is I did not print this on very thick card stock. So it's not wanting to slide in there. I don't know if I got my glue. See, I got my glue a little off on this one. So the, the, the better thing to do is just to put something that's more narrow in there and it slides in just fine. All right, so that's what we're gonna do. And I'll put a green piece back there. Okay. Let's, oh, we need something for the pass through and I think I'm just going to use this one card that I was sh um, showing you guys earlier. I can make it go. Well, it would probably behoove me to trim this just a touch and to put it on another piece of cardstock, like I did the specimen label we just made, because it's going to make it <clears throat> easier to slide through. But for now, 
I'm just gonna, by making it a little more narrow, goodness gracious, it is really snug. Let's go from this side. My other one I didn't have this problem with. I may have gone too fast with the glue. All right, so I really want this in here and I'm going to be persistent. So what we are gonna do is we are gonna glue this, make it even thicker, Pam. No, <laughs> it'll make it sturdier. We are gonna glue this to this piece of scrapbook cardstock. This had a fold in it. That's why I didn't go to the edge. I'm going to trim it out very quickly. I haven't even inked to this, but that's okay. And let's see if we can make this journaling card slide in there. Now that it has a little more heft to it. Let's see. I'm feeling confident that we're going to be able to I must have glued this pocket closed somehow. All right, part of the problem is it's just barely longer than the pocket. The one I did before the pass through one was, you know, a little bit longer, so it was just a little bit easier to slide through. But this is where you can also just um, let it hang out one side just a little bit. That's okay too. It is gonna give me a fit. You guys can fast forward through this as I as I yank on it. There we go. I am calling it done right there. And we're not gonna pull it out again for right now. All right, now what do we wanna do with the one that's our journaling? I like that little postcard, how that turned out. Um, I don't think I wanna cover it up. I just, I like it. So. Lay, you know, you could always put a word or put another label on there if you wanted to. Let's add a couple of pieces. And again, we're gonna call it done. Those will get inked later. How cute. Guys, I love these. Oh, remember my, my warning? Do not put things that are too tall in this pocket and I just about did so here we'll put a couple of shorter things in there all right so now it opens without a problem we have our pass through that sort of acts like a pass through the two mini mini pockets those are cute and then this is the other journaling one all right I hope you guys um like this project, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, leave me a comment, um, and I hope you make some. I'd love to see what you make. Have a great day, everybody.